one of the most iconic uh, kind of look axes that we make here at Baltimore Knife is our crescent axe, especially the trifoil pierced one. We do a whole bunch of different piercings. There's a Maltese cross, there's a chaos symbol. Um, we've done a running rabbit for one person and just, just all kinds of different ones. But this is kind of the look that you, you know, when you think of crusade, you think of this, it's not really a crusade axe, but it's, you know, it's kind of what sticks in people's head. We used to cut these, I'd put them on the milling machine and then kind of hand cut the crosses in each one individually. We make them different sizes and stuff. But we changed over to having a lot of these blades uh, laser, well, initially plasma cut because we have our own plasma, CNC plasma table. And then we changed over to having them laser cut because our quantities have gone up, you know, we're making a lot of these things now. Um, and so we go ahead and cut a quantity of them with the piercings already in them. Um, then they're welded up on the socket and blended and cleaned. Um, they're all heat treated. Uh, so this is actually brought up to uh, about 1550 degrees and quenched in either water or oil. Typically the axis we're quenching in oil um, because we want them to be fairly tough. We're not going for an ultimate hardness. We want them to be tough. We also don't want them to warp. They're very hard to straighten versus uh, trying to straighten a sword blade that's long and thin and we can do a couple of different things to straighten them. Once these axes get really warped, it's, it's much more difficult. Um, we also have made this for uh, Battle of Nations and some of the other steel and steel fighting groups where we have a radius edge here and a smooth outside edge. But this is still the ax that some of the better known uh, fighters out there are using. Uh, Jay Brooks has kind of made this famous in the whole steel on steel fighting internationally even. Um, and you would have seen him on Night Fight, where we also made uh, the big Zweihanders that they fought with there, and a bunch of the one-handed swords. So we made a lot of those weapons on, uh, on Night Fight, which was a History Channel show. Um, I don't know if that's gonna come back, but there's a, you know, one full series of episodes uh, where you see a lot of our weapons there. And certainly this ax is present. We've been making this design of ax. Uh, it was probably the first big ax that we started making uh, all the way back, I would say probably from about 1985 forward, uh, without any change to this design other than we narrowed it down. This used to probably be about this wide here, um, and it didn't quite give you as nice a look um, as some of the like big early illustrated Bibles that you can see this form in. So we narrowed this down a little bit. Um, we've mounted them on all different things over the years, uh, and we went with hickory for quite some time. But we found that uh, the maple that we've been getting uh, for the handles that we have cut, uh, the maple's actually been much more consistent. You can see this has actually got some pretty striping in it. Now the black that you see on this, that, that's a burned surface that we then clean off. But if you can see into some of this wood, it's actually a nice tiger stripe maple. Um, and that's, that's not too hard for us to source, so it's a pretty, pretty nice finished piece. Uh, we do wedge them, we do pin them as well. We found that if they're only pinned, they can get a little bit loose and there's no way to tighten them up. If they're only wedged, uh, it is something that uh, for any of the guys that are really hitting stuff, hitting stuff with these, um, they, they can get loose and we'd be worried about them sliding off. So we wedge and pin. Um, which gives the piece a lot of integrity. Uh, our logo set in here. Of course, after these are heat treated, they're all blackened, so the whole thing has to be polished and smoothed out. I think uh, Rick Janney ground these edges and uh, makes a, a really attractive ax. This ax uh, you can find with pretty much any of our dealers. Uh, this particular ax is just about to be shipped to Cult of Athena. So this will be uh, in stock on the Cult of Athena website, uh, and that's cultofathena.com with a K. It starts with a K. We're just going to keep cranking them out. Glad you guys love them. Thank you. Click the logo to subscribe, or click one of the videos to see more here on the Baltimore Knife and Sword channel, or go to Almy and watch Man at Arms.